Jay Paul Soul Boxing Scientist, and I'm here to do another boxing analysis. This post fight analysis is between Nonito, the Filipino Flash Donai, and then you have it between Super Guerrero. Yes, not Guerrero, Super Guerrero, reading down, who improves his 12 0 with a knockout. Let's get straight to it. People, there's no need to debate. Cubans have the best footwork. Let's throw that out there right now. Right now. Cubans have the best footwork in boxing, period. Next, I have to say, I know people are not going to agree with me, but I say Puerto Rico. And the reason why I say Boricua is because you sit here and you think about it. Footwork wins fights, and that's as long as you're intelligent. You have great footwork, great intelligence, great heart, great determination, you will win. Great focus. Super Guerrero was focused tonight. He was sharper tonight. Muy, muy rapido tonight. Muy fuerte. I mean, what else to say? Uh, Nonito just stepped slower tonight. Did not cut off the ring tonight. He, I don't know, he just didn't, you know, he didn't deliver. He did not do what I thought he was going to do tonight. And uh, a lot of people thought he was going to get a knockout. I, would, I didn't see that. Um, I say that he landed it a perfect, perfect left hook, counter left hook, he would have knocked him out. Hmm. But, no. I, I know that the Remo has great uh, range generalship. You don't win two gold medals for no reason. A lot of people disagree with me. They pose and it's different. Nah, not when you've seen everybody. You've seen any type of boxer. Tall, skinny, short, fast, strong, whatever, you know. And, uh, the Remo was just sharper tonight. Uh, get to the correct figures, 33% of his power punches landed to 23% uh, for Donai. Uh, Nonito landed, I believe it was around uh, 83 total shots, and Grimo was uh, 120 something. And I know he was 41% overall tonight, which is just amazing. I mean, just an amazing, amazing stat, you know, and uh, I mean, what I mean, what else is there to say? I mean, who do you think Guillermo should fight next? I mean, uh, after he did what he did to No Nico, I mean, I want to see a rematch. A lot of you guys say, "Oh man, boxing is hurting right now because people are not, you know, uh, fighting." What? This is boxing, you dumb fuck. This is boxing championships over there. And Guillermo was smarter, more intelligent. And uh, you can tell no need to, like you said, I didn't do my homework. I pretty much looked over him. Not making excuses for no need, but it really seemed like he was telling the truth. He probably only watched the Cordoba fight and the Mata King fight. And he said, oh, there we go. I think I can do it. I'm going to train, work on footwork, my technique, you know, work it for it in the morning run. And think, you know, I can get in there and beat him. No, oh, this is a masterful, masterful boxer. Clean, effective counter punch. He's an effective aggressor when it came to certain points, like in the fourth round when he was trying to knock out Nomito and I was sitting there like, oh my god, I can't believe uh, one of my idols in boxing is going to be, you know, knocked out. You know, similar to the manufacturer uh, by the market, you're not going to bring that up. And this is a similar, you know, to what happened with Eric Morales in manufacturer. This is a oops for Nomito, just like it happened in your career, you know. Um, just not your night, and you have to keep it real and keep it, you know, 100. That uh, Guillermo was just far superior to. I told you guys this guy had to. Super Guillermo had the footwork, the intelligence, the counter punch. Every time no need to try to throw that left or he try to throw a slow right, boom, Guillermo was done with a straight left hand, a counter right hook that was just beautiful. It was just beautiful on that, and I, I, I might have to watch the fight over again, but I can't believe what I saw with my eyes. I mean, it was just crazy to think that uh, no need to lie, that so black and blue started coming up with eye like that in fourth round. And uh, I know you guys think I'm bagging on Nonito, but Nonito is one of my favorite boxers of all time. Not just right now, of all time. He, he's just amazing. He's one of the best counter punches, one punch knockout artist in the sport. So I understand a little bit why you guys are um, on the hype train, not not they're saying he's a high job, but the high train saying, oh, you going to just knock him out. You have to understand, understand intelligence, movement, you know, styles make fights. 
And Guillermo Scott was perfect tonight. He outboxed me for several rounds. I mean, just easily. It was not running. It was boxing. If you don't appreciate it, go back to the UFC. You're going to, you know, talk shit on Nonito and say, oh, well, he was a shit fighter because he didn't cut off the ring. Hey, it happens sometimes. When you don't study your opponent like you're supposed to, or you just can't figure out how great of a ring general he was, then sometimes you lose like that. It's part of life. When you lose, you know. Uh, Grandma, like I say, he improved his 12 and 0, 8 knockouts, and I give Nomiko so much credit because he said one thing that really stuck with me in the post fight. Even though he's making a couple excuses, I'm not going to defend him on that, but I'm going to, you know, tell it out there to everybody. He said, hey, he was the better man than tonight. He outboxed me, and he said, thank you for giving me this boxing match. Nobody else will humble themselves to do such thing. Who else says some shit like that? And he's not being a pussy for doing it. He's keeping it real. Like, when he sees, when he goes to look back at the tape, probably tonight or tomorrow morning, he's going to be like, damn, that guy. Like, he was more fuerte, just exceptional power to make Lomito head fling back several times like he did with that straight left hand, that counter straight left, and then check right hook, you know, and that foul call stands. Guy was sharp. And he started, like, messing with him, throwing his arms out there, putting his arms down, saying, hit me, hit me, you know. The guy is just amazing. He's one of the best boxers of all time. Um, beating Mara King, most people could not beat Mara King. Even Adrian Bono lost to Mara King in the end. Remember that people. And uh, I believe Mara King beat other people like the top names on that too. And like I said, you guys pretty much to think in the comment section below. I see, uh, you know what I'm saying, no need to, you know, coming back six or eight months after he just done, you know. He's going to spend time with his, his wife and his baby, and I uh, you guys think he's a fighter. Um, I still want to see him fight, still a leap to me. You know, like I said, what happened to him is what happened to Eric Morales versus Manny Pacquiao. The first guy, Eric Morales, was the underdog. Everybody said he was going to be knocked the fuck out. Too easy. What did he do? Put on a masterful boxing performance and just all boxing. Even when South Park to make fun of Manny Pacquiao and talk a lot. Look it up on YouTube, people. That's what this uh, boxing match reminded me. Um, so, you guys, once again, I mean, we saw a masterful night of boxing. All my Boricua, stand the fuck up. We have another one who is Boricua to the bone. Felix Valente Verdejo. Verdejo is going to be a superstar. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. So, you guys tell me what you think about this night. And, uh, it's all masterpiece tonight for real boxing fans. Peace.